In today's video, I'm going to show you my rendition of the clean makeup look that's been trending. The reason why I love this trend is because it's the less is more approach and it makes your skin look like skin. Um, it's very comfortable to wear and it looks really good. I cannot wait to show you the tips and tricks that I use to achieve this clean look. So let's get started. Let's start by moisturizing the skin really well. I feel like the clean makeup look is all about the skin prep. This is the Plumping Dew plus Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Moisturizer moisturizer from Smashbox. This has a little bit of this light reflecting particles in it and I'm going to apply like a very sheer layer of this all over my face. This is really going to make the base look very very radiant. Now I'm going to use a tinted moisturizer. This is from Smashbox again the same range as the moisturizer. The Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer in the shade medium. If you don't have a tinted moisturizer or if you don't have a really light foundation you can dilute any foundation that you have with your moisturizer and it's gonna just tint the moisturizer a little bit and make it a tinted moisturizer I love doing that with my fit me if you have Maybelline fit me I think it would work really well or you could just apply a sheerer layer of it because I feel like for this look I really want a very sheer application and not go overboard with the foundation as you can see, it has a very nice even coverage, but it's also making my skin look like skin. So this is exactly the kind of finish I'm looking for in this look. For concealer, I'm using Fit Me in the shade medium, and I like to take it on the back of my hand first and spread it evenly onto the sponge, and then just go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes. Again, this ensures that I have very little product on the skin and also on the sponge which means that it's going to blend seamlessly into my skin. As you can see, I'm already getting that clean sort of finish. After the concealer, I'm just going to cut down the shine wherever I get too oily. This is the K-Beauty powder. So the center of my forehead, underneath my eyes. I'm also going to set the eyelid so that we don't have any creasing later on throughout the day. For my brows, I'm only going to use brow gel. This is Give Me Brow from Benefit and Tame the Brows. If you want to add some thickness to the brows, you can even go back and forth like this. For the eyes, we're going to keep it extremely simple. I'm going to take a little bit of this contour shade from the W Beauty Face Palette and apply it on the crease just to add a little bit of depth. And then we're taking a little bit of the Fit Me Concealer and applying it on the inner corner, almost like a half cut crease. And then I'm just setting it with the K-Beauty powder. So it's optional, but you can take a little bit of a shimmery, glittery shade and apply it on the inner corner. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Princess Cut. It's a nice cream formula. Then I'm going to take my Define Eyeliner in Detoxify and I'm going to draw a very small winged liner as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm going to go very, very close to the lash line now. Time to curl the eyelashes really, really well. I'm going to use my favorite mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and wiggle it out like this making sure that i get a lot of mascara on the base i'm actually gonna move to lipstick next i want to apply like a nice dusty rose color this is dolly from simply nam and the reason why i'm applying the lipstick first is because it's going to help me gauge how much of blush and contouring i need to do for this look because i want it to look very natural for my blush, I will be using this liquid blush from Hina Henna Beauty and I will actually place it on the back of my hand first and evenly spread it using the sponge. So I'm going with blush first and then we'll see if I need to contour. I love, love this product. I'm just adding a little bit of contour underneath the blush using the same contour powder and also contouring my nose. 
Last but not the least, let's apply highlighter. I'm using this cream highlighter from Ilana. It's called Celestial Pop and I'm taking it on the back of my hand. I really like doing that as you can tell and taking the same sponge, blending out this evenly and applying it right here and I find that this way it blends into the skin really well, it blends into the blush really well. If you want, you can just take the same highlighter shade and apply it on your inner corner. You don't need to apply like a separate product like I have. But I feel like with a clean look, cream products give me the best results. Um, because it just sits and melts into my skin really well. And this is the clean makeup look all done. If you want to recreate this look and if you do end up using any of the tips and tricks please tag me in your stories i would love love to see your recreations and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see you in my next one bye